Today in WWE 2K24, I'm simulating Cody Rhodes' next full year in Universe Mode. For this full year, there is 10 different premium live events. I have drafted Cody Rhodes to the SmackDown brand and set up 8 top contenders to his undisputed WWE Championship division. Number 1 contender was AJ Styles to kick this off and I was hoping that that was going to be the first match at the first premium live event backlash, but instead Cody Rhodes did not show up at the event. I guess he had nothing to talk about and I wasn't too happy about it. It says everything is a championship match. I think this universe more is a broken somehow. I see you Jay Uso getting an opportunity here. Cody is not on the car. Oh my god he's worse than Roman Reigns already. You gotta be kidding me here. For the next month it is the night of champions event and the good news is that Cody Rhodes has been in a rivalry with Solo Sokoa who seems to have I've been putting him through a table heading into the event. After all, Solo is the new tribal chief, the new head of the table. Comes Night of Champion. Oh my! Cody Rhodes is looking good with that undisputed WWE Championship, but can he prove that he is a fighting and retaining champion against the new leader of the bloodline? First, a title defense for Cody Rhodes going against a Solo here. And Solo with the headbutt. Looking pretty good. Goes for the elbow and stomping a Away on the champion. Follow it up with the power bomb. Solo becoming number one contender after Cody Rhodes took the night off a backlash. Oh, Rhodes away from it. Try to go for the right hand. Solo is just too quick. Oh my. Try to go for the clothesline. Cody finally gets a reversal though. Oh, turns it around already with the Averto Breaker. Oh, Cody is raging. Oh, bro, is raging pretty fast in this match. What's going on? Oh, so Solo with the spinning Solo. Oh my, they both got a finisher now. Referee on the count of one. I end up going for the spike here. Oh my, after putting Cody Rhodes through a table leading into this. Are you kidding me right now? Cody Rhodes, please. He kicked out. The story continues. Goes for the right hand. Oh, crossroads. Oh my God, he's bleeding. One, two. He might be looking to fly right now. Watch out, Cody. You got a dog, bro. Just make sure you don't get injured, please. You need to be our champion for the rest of the year. I mean, if I was Cody Cody Rhodes, I would have stayed on the outside. Solo was taunting us. Cody Rhodes was getting back in. Shades of Rain, the Orton with the slam. Solo turns it around, elbow to the face. And Cody Rhodes is going to get caught into another spike. Oh my God. One, two. Oh, what? <laughs> All right, the story's over. Absolutely demolished by Solo Sekoa. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. I certainly didn't have Cody Rhodes losing his championship on the first side of the fence in my bingo cards. The Money in the Bank Premium Live event is up next. And Cody Rhodes is indeed doing something that I was hoping for. And that is utilizing his rematch clause. Unfortunately for him, though. Oh, boy. This bro ain't winning the rematch. <laughs> One on one normal match. He holds the title and bro is bringing the backup now. Cody went from being in the main event of the show to being the opener. What's going to be going down? Oh my. Okay. 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 2K. Cody is not finishing the story, bro. What is this? Why is this crashing right now? Um, I don't know what entrance this is. I don't know why this entrance is this. This is probably why the game crashed because it didn't know what entrance to give the bloodline. There is a lot on the line right now. Unfortunately, for Cody Rhodes, he has no backup. He got no John Cena. He got no Undertaker. No Stone Cold Steve Austin. Wait, hold on. Stone Cold didn't show up. Solo Sokoa, of course, becoming the tribal chief. Oh, Cody from the middle rope with the disaster kick. And here comes a Jimmy Uso. Jimmy, did you forget that Solo spiked you? You know what? It kind of makes sense. You guys are brothers anyways. You fight and then you're good the next hour so. Oh, just first on the exposed turnbuckle and a step up into Guri. I I don't think that was gonna be it but you never know and he's gonna put an end to all of this taking solo to the outside and roman reigns just looking on cody what are you doing you got kids bro and a dog you better be careful <laughs> wait what what is happening oh my god he was floating he barely landed on his feet kick to the midsection pedigree on the outside there you go cody oh he gets caught oh no cody with the reversal goes for the right hand and another one and crossroads he's bleeding now one two oh 
that was so close. And Jimmy Uso getting involved with another turnbuckle. If Cody goes for the pin for now, this could be it. Wait, wait, this might be perfect timing. The referee might end up finishing the turnbuckle. Crossroads again. Oh, referee is set up. Cody's going to win it again. One, two. Cody retains or regains the title. Cody is back on top, baby. As we head into the biggest party of the summer. So it is time for SummerSlam, and I was excited to see Cody Rhodes compete. Let's go ahead and check out the match card. Cody Rhodes is taking a break tonight. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. The Rock defeats a solo. Damian Priest retain. Drew McIntyre, he just, you know, he just have an extra match in the main event. And somehow everything is a championship match. I have not seen the US title get defended yet in a paper review so while universe mo is broken and checking on what cody rhodes been doing on the smackdown brand well he actually had a championship match against aj styles you bet that i was excited to potentially watch this but it didn't happen at a premium live event and guess what cody actually lost the title on a friday night against the phenomenal one so getting into payback we are halfway through the year cody rhodes is now on the last position in the division and it is now in a rivalry against Jimmy Uso. He actually walks out with the victory in a steel cage match. At the fast lane event, he doesn't compete but we did got a title change as there was a triple threat match and LA Knight walked out with the undisputed championship. Survivor Series is next and LA Knight has to defend that championship against Solo but I was excited for what I saw next. It is LA Night versus Solo Sikoa and Cody Rhodes taking on Randy Orton. By this point, Cody was climbing up a number six in the division, and a win in this dream match got to do big for him. Can Cody Rhodes make his way back to the top as we head into WrestleMania? Which of these uh, top contenders for the WWE Championship gonna walk out with the victory backbreaker? Spins him all around, gonna go for the slam to the middle rope. That was a mistake. Randy with the right hand. Nice reverse by Cody Rhodes and again gonna hit the pedigree by ringside every single time somehow Cody managed to hit it and Cody Rhodes squaring up Randy Orton for something he knows it and he is very familiar with old Randy with the reversal close line quick recovery by Cody Rhodes kind of one two a uh, Randy Orton uh with a very unique submission of course that he hasn't done in 20 years but nonetheless oh my god Cody was trying to go for the crossroads but Randy when he hits the RKO and this could put an end to the story that's already been finished and the viper is gonna go to that place the apex predator being vintage as he's always can be strong iron swim turns it back around and a knee to the gut from the middle rope with the disaster kick cody rhodes is right behind him trying to go for that crossroads randy went with the elbow into the rko it's freaking over oh no what a match so far cody counters the reversal into a jumping clothesline just gonna fly to the outside with the cross body well these two might not be best friends anymore not after the action that we are seeing right here right now back around throwing cody rhodes into the ring oh cody dunks down into the crossroads dude that is such a bait oh my god no way can the viper oh he got defeated Cody trying to make his way back to the top. Should have been a WrestleMania, but nonetheless, massive win for Cody Rhodes, but look who is a champion. It is the person that ended up taking that title from him initially. The good news is that, that now Cody is at number four in the division, heading into the next event, the Royal Rumble. Much like a lot of top wrestlers, Cody Rhodes competed in the Royal Rumble match. Unfortunately for him though, in very ironic the one that walked out with the victory was none other than randy orton the viper is now set to go to wrestlemania where cody Rhodes' stocks just keeps on dropping in that division and heading into wrestlemania the bloodline is still coming after him and at the elimination chamber event we get ourselves a wrestlemania main event as cody gotta attempt to go through roman reigns once again and although not for the championship he does get the win with the champion, the new head of the table, Solo Sekoa, looking on, not too happy at Roman Reigns for once again letting Cody finish that story.
Glory. And I was hoping that this will lead into a WrestleMania championship match for Cody Rhodes, but it didn't. Instead, Solo Sikoa spiked AJ Styles to finish the year on top, while Cody wasn't even on the car and ended as number 17 in the power rankings. But that wasn't going to stop him from starting the next chapter in his story.